guys, it's Alicia and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another episode of Shelf Talk. Today I'm going to be going over the fourth shelf on my big shelf behind me and we're just going to go over the books that I have on that shelf and which ones I've read. This is a little daunting. This show has really made me reevaluate my life. Not that I'm going to change anything except maybe read more of my own books, but I'm not going to stop buying books because... Someone's got to support the authors and it is going to be more. That's just, that's what I've come to decide. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and show you the books on my fourth shelf. First, I have A Royal Christmas Wedding, which is a royal wedding novella, I believe. It's a Christmas novella. It's in that series by Rachel Hawk, and I have not read this book yet. Next, I have Once Upon a Prince, which is book one in the royal wedding series by Rachel Hawk, and I have not read this one yet. Next, I have How to Catch a Prince, which is book two in the Royal Wedding series, and I have not read this one yet. Next, I have Princess Ever After, which is book three in the Royal Wedding series, and I have not read this one yet. Next, I have Fool's Rush In, which is book one in the Weddings by Bella series by Janice Thompson, and I have, in fact, read this one forever and a decade ago, but I want to reread them. I remember really enjoying them. Next is Swinging on a Star, which is book two in the Weddings by Bella series, and I have read this one as well. Next, I have It Had to Be You, which is book three in the Weddings by Bella series, and I have read this one as well. Next, I have My Stubborn Heart by Becky Wade, and I have not read this one yet. Next, I have Undeniably Yours, and this is book one in the Porter Family series, I believe, by Becky Wade, and I have not read this one yet. Next, I have Meant to Be Mine, which is book two in the Porter Family series, and I have not read this one yet. Next, I have A Love Like Ours, which is book three in the Porter Family series, and I have not read this one yet either. Next, I have Her One and Only by Becky Wade, and this is book four in the Porter House series, and I have not read this one either. Next, I have Then Came You, which is a Bradford Sisters novella by Becky Wade, and I have read this. Next, I have True to You, which is book one in the Bradford Sisters romance series, and I have read this one. Next, I have Falling for You, which is book two in the Bradford Sisters series, and I have read this one as well. Then I have Sweet on You, which is book three in the Bradford Sisters series, and I have read this one as well. Next is Take a Chance on Me, which is a Misty River romance novella by Becky Wade, and I have not read this one yet. Next, I have Stay With Me, which is book one in the Misty River romance series, the full novel, and I have not read this one yet. Next, I have Paper Hearts by Courtney Walsh, and I have not read this one yet. Next, I have Just Look Up by Courtney Walsh, and I have not read this one yet. Next, I have Just Let Go by Courtney Walsh, and this is book two. I think it's... Oh, I forgot what the name of the series is. Harbor Point? Not 100% sure. But I know that it's a series, but they can also be standalones. Anywho, Just Let Go is book two, and I have not read it yet. I have Just One Kiss, which is book three in the series, and I have not read this one yet either. Next, I have Five Days in Sky by Carla Loreno, and this is book one in the McDonald Family trilogy, and I have not read this one yet. Next, I have London Tides, which is the second book in the McDonald Family series uh, by Carla Loreno, and I have not read this one yet. Next, I have Under Scottish Stars, which is book three in the McDonald Family trilogy, and I have not read this one yet. Next, I have The Saturday Night Supper Club by Carla Loreno, and this is book one in the Supper Club novel series that she did, and I have not read this one yet. Next, I have Brunch at Bittersweet Cafe, which is book two in the Supper Club series, and I have read this one. The last book on the shelf is The Solid Grounds Coffee Company, which is book three in the Supper Club series, and I have not read this one yet, but I love this cover so much. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the books that are on that shelf, the books that I have and the books that I have or have not read. Uh, in the comments below, let me know which ones you guys own and which ones you have read and what your thoughts were. I would love to hear. Uh, all my links are in the description box below and on the end slide. You can check me out on Instagram, in my blog, in Facebook, in Twitter, and all the places. And I would love to hear from you. Come and chat with me. We can be friends. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.